Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler and today we have, I believe it's round four, the quest for King Civivi round four. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have watched my previous Proelia TX050 giveaway contest, as you know, we talked about the first three to guess the knife that I'm flipping in the background is going to get... I'm sorry, not the first three. The first one to guess three correct of the knife that I'm flipping in the background will get the Proelia TX050. Um, you have to answer with the correct format, so I suggest you go back and you watch that video because if you do not answer with the exact correct format, punctuation and all, I will not count it. Um, this is kind of a guessing game, so I have to keep the rules as strict as possible. Everybody only gets one guess. So what that does mean is if you guess with the wrong format, you can always correct it, but you cannot change your answer. So if I see that your answer is uh, the uh, James Brand Folsom, for example, which will never be on here because it's not a very good flipper. But just as an example, if I were to do that and you messed up your answer, you can just go back, check out the format, retype in in the comment section what your answer would be. My answer is the James Brand Folsom, period, then that's what's going to count, okay? So getting into it, I'm going to be easy on you guys and not make you guys watch this whole video for those of you just interested in that knife, but in future videos, I will embed this in the video. So without further ado, here is the knife. That was my kid, sorry. All right. And as I said, I will give you guys a hint also embedded in this video as to what that might be. While I'm going to let you guys guess off of that right now, I'm going to make you guys watch the whole damn video because that's what I'm doing. If you guys want the hint. Moving on. Today we have round number four of the quest for King Savivi. In the top corner, we have the Civivi Bull Mastiff. This guy is touting a weight of a lot, and I don't remember the specs off the top of my head. He is massive, large, and in charge, and doesn't give a flying shit about any other knife in the Civivi family. In the bottom corner, we have the Civivi Shredder. This guy will cut anything that gets in front of you and will not give a shit. If you're big, small, little, whatever, he will go through you until his blade works no longer. So without further ado, let's jump into this battle to the death quest for Kings of Eevee. You insert another nomenclature for what we're calling this. Let the fight begin. Like that little addition right there? That's my coffee thermos with a butter knife. Anyways, moving on. The aesthetics. The aesthetics were, so let me start this off by thinking that the Bull Mastiff was going to get decimated by any knife. And, unfortunately enough for the Bull Mastiff, it is going up against the Shredder, which is the very first Civivi that caught my eye, the very first Civivi that I bought, and undoubtedly probably one of the top five Civivis of all time at this point. But, knowing that, going into my criteria, I'm not going to say that... Uh, this is close or not close or whatever, because I'm not going to give it away right now, but this this gave me more trouble than I had originally thought it was going to. So getting into the aesthetics. Now, the handle on the Bull Mastiff is kind of just blah. It's just a, it's a normal handle. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing not special about it. It looks nice. It's, it has the classy, just black on, uh, satin finish look. That's not really a satin finish. I gotta look that up. I don't think that's satin finish. But um, then you got the shredder. And the shredder's got, you know, it's got a little bit more jimping going on. They both have the forward finger toil. This has the red inlays. Um, it's a little bit more sleek looking. And the blade just looks a little bit more... Actually, it doesn't. I was going to say the blade looks a little bit more dangerous. But when you're comparing these two, the bull mastiff just, just looks like it's ready to chop your arm off. So... Um, as much as I want to give the aesthetics to the Shredder, part of the Bull Mastiff's allure is the way it looks. 
So I'm not, I'm not gonna give it to either one. I'm gonna give this a tie. And it's because the Bull Mastiff is a hard knife to compare other knives to if they're not a cleaver style blade. Um, and just like the Shredder, I mean the Shredder probably has some of the most interesting looks of a lot of the Civivis, but it's just hard to compare against the Bull Mastiff. I mean, do I think the Shredder looks better? Yes. But do I think the Bull Mastiff's blade looks super cool? Yeah. So we're going to give this a tie for the aesthetics. Agree with me, don't disagree with me. It's my subjective view. You know, moving on. Ergos. This was also a little bit difficult because once I picked this up, with how beefy this handle is, I'm not saying it's solid, but I'm saying with how beefy and, and much meat you get around it, it does not feel bad. Where this loses... Spoiler alert, Shredder gets the win for the Ergos. Where this loses is that it is so wide, even with my long fingers, I can feel this wearing on you quite a bit. And I know, and that's what Ergos are, right? You should be able to use this knife for a long period of time. This choke up position right here versus this choke up position right here, your, your, hand, your, your, your hands are going to just wear thin. I mean, it, it's it's just the way it's it doesn't provide enough support for the meat of your hand. This one is thinner. It's it's probably just as thick as the bull mastiff. It looks like it, but this one has it doesn't have as much width. So your hands wrap around and you get a little bit more meat on there, and you can really hold it. I feel more solid. Not to mention with this jimping and this cutout in the blade and the way this angles up, you have you have a very good grip right here. Um, it's one of my favorite grips when you have a little bit. It's just like the Manix 2. As you grip right here and then you have this angled upward a little bit, you can put the pressure right here. It, it, you just, you're locked in. So the Ergos. The Ergos are going to the Shredder. <laughs> Quality feel. This one should be no surprise if you watch my review on the Bull Mastiff. I do not feel that the handle... Remember, Civivis were going off a of quality feel. Again, a lot more subjective than anything, but the... If you guys remember my review of the Bull Mastiff, it's that the inside liners are cut out to reduce some of the weight, but I feel that that adds, you feel all your weight is up top. I mean, it, it, that's why the handle's so long to balance the blade. Well, it's also because the blade comes down to an angle like that, but the, it just feels all the weights up here and you don't, if you're holding a knife like this, I feel like you shouldn't care about the weight of the knife just because the whole thing should feel solid. So the quality feel, without even going over, the quality feel goes to the shredder on this one. It just feels like a higher quality, like they put a little bit more into the knife. You got this, this cutout right here as it's coming down. I forgot what that's called. Chamfering, I think, all around. You know, and you got all this <laughs> jimping all over the place. You got my kids screaming in the back. Are you quiet, quiet down, kid. That's going to go YouTube viral. Um, so... Yeah, the, the quality feel goes to the Shredder. So if we're keeping score, for the aesthetics, it's a tie. For the ergos and the quality feel, it's going to the Shredder. For the fidget factor, this one was difficult because this is why. The weight of this blade masks anything, and it's on bearings. It just, I mean, it, obviously it's quote-unquote drop shutty because this freaking weight is huge. This is not drop shutty, you know? And, and don't get me wrong, I haven't fidgeted with this enough to like really break it in but neither did I with that one and that one's huge where the differential is you can do the reverse flick the thumb flick and that with this you can with the bull mastiff you can too I can use a flipper tab I can spidey flick it sometimes but the weight of the blade actually causes a little bit of an issue spidey flicking it and the thumb flick is fine too. So it's got almost the same flicks, but when you're trying to do the spidey flick on it, the bull mastiff is so heavy. And remember what I talked about with the review, if you only flick it halfway, it's going to come back down and potentially like chop your finger. Now it's not going to cut your finger bad because the momentum's not there, but I mean, it just, the fidget factor, I feel like if I'm fidgeting with that bull mastiff, I'm going to probably hurt myself, A. Or lesser of the two, B, the bull mastiff, because the blade is so heavy, when it's in this position, I have to put a lot more pressure to get this blade to break the detent and go. And if you're talking about fidget factor, you're talking about sitting there with your knife for hours, not even thinking about it and flicking it, uh, the shredder wins that. Um, it's, it's, 
it's it, but it was closer than you think just because of how big that blade is and with this uh fuller or whatever you call it in the middle that that allows you to do more things um you can spidey flick it you can thumb flick it that's why it was difficult for me um not difficult for me but it it, it did pose a mental challenge a little bit fidget factors go into the shredder so the carry this should also be no surprise to anybody this thing <laughs> you're not buying it for the carry you're not buying the bull mastiff so that it hides in your pocket you're not doing that with the shredder either but the shredders profile if you want to talk about carry profile let's just take a look at this see if I can look at that let's make sure that it's lined up right I mean no matter how I try to try to do this like line it up perfectly I mean it's just that should be if anybody has any qualms about that write it in the comments deal with it I don't care because there's no way that you can argue that the carry of the bull mastiff is better than any Civivi out there because it's not it's just huge that's not a knock on the knife remember this is a this is a unique knife and meant to have the unique feel and it's sacrificing the carry for what it is no cleaver blade has ever been the carry winner of the year this is another one that gave me difficulty but before i get into that we're gonna plug in the hint for you guys the hint and i'm gonna flick it again for you the knife for the proelia contest my hint to you today is, is this is one of those six knives in my video of my if i can only have one knife this is one of the six finalists so I will list the six finalists for you. We had the Manix 2. We had the Shredder, which use freaking deduction reasoning there. Um, we had the Falcon. We had the Duros. We had the Backlash. And I think the Praxis might have been in there. But just by the way that I said that, use deductive reasoning. So I'm not going to repeat those. Shh. Do the video. Come on. Interrupting me. Uh, so go back to that video, look at the top the top ones. You can find out, you know, what you think this may be. I'll flick it one more time for you guys. Okay, back to the round. The blade. Just by saying that, I hope you guys can feel the difficulty engaging these two blade shapes. The shredder is absolutely meant to shred. This thing is so thin. The hollow grind is so perfect. It is just, it's long. You got so much cutting edge. I, God, that thing's awesome. I feel like I should be able to chop down a tree with this, which is something else to be said for a blade. It's not the sliciest, but it's actually pretty damn slicey for how big that blade is. You got so much room to come down with that flat grind to a very narrow point behind the edge. Um, so what I'm what I'm getting at here is. Once again, I'm going to go on a tie because I really just don't know how to compare that big of a blade to anything because it is so unique. You're comparing apples to oranges and I don't feel that providing a winner there is really that fair. So for the blade, it's a tie. So if you can't tell by now, it's kind of already a said and done thing. The aesthetics are a tie. The ergos go to the shredder. The quality feel goes to the shredder. The fidget factor goes to the shredder. The carry goes to the shredder. But the blade goes to a tie. Two ties and four wins for the shredder out of seven. We can tell where this is going. But I'm going to go into value as well. For the shredder, it's coming in at 56.61 for a lot more material. I'm sorry. Rewind. The... Bull Mastiff is coming in at 5661 for a lot more material. The Shredder is coming in at 61 for it feels like just more stuff to the knife, right? You know, that they, they did more things. You got the chamfering, which I'm gonna go with that because I just clicked in my brain. Chamfering around here, you got the different colors behind and the inlays, it's red, black, red back, red back. You know, it's it feels as even though it's large feels like there was a lot of time taken in it's cut out just like the inside of here which again i don't think that credits this even though they probably jacked up the price because of that uh they took the time to cut this out they have this nice long hollow grind they got this chamfering here which is whatever on every civi but the chamfering here not chamfering shit jimping jimping here and jimping there um and the finger choil is perfect here the finger choil is perfect you get a lot of blade 
Um, you feel like you can do a lot with the blade. I didn't even see, even, even with the carry, I didn't even have to talk about the deep carry, even though they're both deep carry. Didn't even have to do that. Um, so while this is $5 cheaper, I, I've, I just don't feel that that knife holds the value of something like the Shredder. And without going into a long explanation and dragging this video on too long, it's just that I feel like I can carry that Shredder on a more regular basis without question, even though it's the Shredder. I mean, look at it. This thing's a, a, a stabby looking knife. But I just feel when you pull this out, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just feel that you get, you're going to get more use out of the Shredder on an everyday basis. Unless you're one of those few people that like carrying around a huge knife, which is, which is fine. But I don't think that you're the majority, right? So I'm going to go with what I would feel that the majority is. The majority wants to carry a knife that they can use on a daily basis that when they pull out does not feel like you're going to be, you know, going Mad Max throughout the area. It's just, you know, you pull this out to cut open plat like to cut open tape on a box. People are going to be like, what the hell? Before, if you weren't comparing these two, you might hear me say the same thing about the shredder. But if one person saw this and then I pulled out this, they would be like, why do you have that big ass knife? You know, like it's, it's one of those things. And that doesn't attribute to value, but I'm just saying that I think it'll attribute overall to somebody's want to carry the knife on a more frequent basis, thus adding more value to your purchase rather than it sitting on the shelf. Now, if you're somebody that values these knives and puts them in a box and puts them on your shelf, that is a totally different way to compare the value. And that is something that you're going to have to do on your own. Um, but for this win, it goes to the shredder hands down. The, the bull mastiff is knocked out. And the funny part is, is on my notes, I put bulldog, but the bull mastiff is knocked out of the, out of the tournament. The shredder advances to, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. We'll call it tier two because I'm kind of going round by round. So here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the Savivi shredder defeats the bull mastiff by a landslide. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Everyday EDC. Love you guys. Stay sharp. Stay safe. Stay out of the COVID stuff. Wear your masks. Be respectful to everybody else. Don't cut yourself. If there's any more riots, stay out of them. If you're part of the riots, keep your fellow rioters from rioting like idiots and protest like real adults. Um, I'm done with my speech. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.